guys welcome back to our channel today's video is a current favorites video i haven't done this video in quite a while i believe i think i believe i don't remember to be honest i don't remember when was the last time i did a favorites video so uh yeah here's one today i am excited to share with you guys the products that i have been loving and obsessing over i have a couple products not too much products because i feel like i still love the products that i mentioned in my last current favorites video so if you haven't watched that i'll leave that up here somewhere so we get started if you're not yet part of our t-squad family and you would like to join don't forget to subscribe down below in the link become part of the youtube family become part of the t-squad family subscribe uh like comment subscribe share the video you can do so many things on YouTube, right? But with that being said, if you want to know my favorite products that I have been loving the past couple months, then just keep on watching. Right, we are going to start off with a face wash. Well, actually, two face washes that I recently discovered and I have been loving, obsessing over them. You guys know the drill with that. The first one is the Purpose Gentle Cleansing Wash that looks like this. So this, you guys, I actually got it from Jaclyn Hill. Jaclyn Hill mentioned this is a dupe for the La Mer something something wash. And she said that this one was one of her like holy grails, you know, when you're, when she was on a budget, you know what I mean? So obviously I'm on a budget. So, and I feel like if you can find, you know, alternative products to like the higher end products, why not? You know what I mean? Like why not? why not save your coins you know what i mean like even if you have coins like why not save them so that's me right here so i decided to go pick this up and try it out and she was right it feels really really gentle on the skin i feel like it cleans my like it cleans my skin really really good to the point where i don't have any any you know residue or any makeup left on my skin um it removes oil dirt it leaves me feeling so clean it's insane how clean it makes my skin feel but it doesn't dry me out which is the best part so if you haven't tried this out and you're looking for a good face wash that is just going to remove you know any excess makeup or like any makeup that's left behind the towel it wipes you know what i mean uh try this out let me know what you think of it because uh yeah i love it if you have a face wash already that's like affordable and you love it let me know in the comment section down below because i want to try it out after this one um, but yeah, so far I have been loving this. Next product is also a face wash that I have been loving and obsessing over. And this is the Vitamin C Facial Wash by Soap and Glory. This is a 3-in-1 daily detox. So the thing with this one, and I feel like the difference between the two, is that this one actually has a scent. And it makes my skin feel really minty. Like, I know you don't want to hear that in a face wash you know what i mean but it makes my skin feel really clean like squeaky clean like to the point clean you know and it also smells really really bomb i feel like this is like the perfect morning face wash i actually got like the little travel size to take it to la when i went over there and i really really like it so i'm going to be uh picking up the big bottle jesus actually loved it too um at night it's like perfect for like a day and night kind of thing it kind of smells like soap but it's not really soap you know oh and it has little beads like little exfoliating kind of beads so it kind of feels nice when you're rubbing it rubbing it on the skin i'll use this in the morning to you know wake up feel refreshed feel minty and all of that good stuff so this is a bomb 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 face wash usually go in with the purpose one first and then i'll go in with this one just because i like the feeling that this one gives me in the sense that it makes me feel so minty and so clean you know next up is a mascara that i discovered i actually saw amanda and seeing uh try this out and she was like raving about it and i was like girl i need to try that out so this is the lash accelerator mascara with avic grow lash complex so ever since i started using this i know it's weird i know it's weird but my lashes have grown a little bit i can actually see the difference because the house of lash the house of lashes glue tears my lashes apart and i have noticed them grow with this i don't know what this has it's supposed to have like some kind of like grow thingy on it but not only do I like that about it, I also like the wand. It's an up close of the wand. I don't know if you guys are able to see, but the bristles are really, really tiny. And overall, the wand is like super, super small. So you can actually like coat your lashes, like your lower lashes, really, really nicely. Not only that, but I also use it on my top lashes. And I feel like it gives them like a plump in volume. And it also makes my lashes grow. I don't know what is in here, but it says it has a grow lash complex. So it must have something 
to make them grow longer and thicker and I really 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 been loving this try it out it's from the drugstores from the brand Rimmel ever since I started whenever back then when I didn't really used to use makeup and I only used foundation the Rimmel foundation was my absolute by far favorite foundation I still use it up to this day but like I said I use other foundations just because I'm always buying new makeup you know and trying out shit so alrighty so next up I want to talk about three palettes these palettes were from my hush haul video these are all really affordable palettes and they are from hush the shop hush app I believe the first one is the Aphrodite somebody told me how to pronounce this I'm not even gonna try to pronounce it but this is the palette right here this is from the brand bad habit not only do these palettes have a huge ass mirror as you guys saw in that hush haul video if you haven't watched it I'll link it up here I go over a ton of palettes that they sent out to me um, but this is what this one looks like so the reason why this is one of my favorites is because of this olive green shade here and this gold one I do have the olive and gold makeup tutorial if you haven't seen that video to me it's by far one of the best tutorials i have ever done here on my channel i feel like it's really it looks really really nice with that nude lip i don't know and that long hair it kind of makes me feel some type of way you know but uh yeah go watch that video if you haven't watched it if you want to see the palettes you know perform in action and whatnot and not only do i like that about it but it also has this pink you know shades right here which i don't have any like pink shadows in my collection so when i received the palette i was super excited to play around with them and it has a lot of like really intense metallic shadows here i'm gonna go ahead and swatch this one and this one for you guys so you guys can see how pigmented they are look at that they are like so pigmented they are so out of this world i absolutely love the pigmentation on the shadows is the athena palette also by the same brand um all of them have a huge mirror by the way so this one as you guys can see is really 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 beautiful i don't know if you guys are able to see this one but look at this shade here called gleam i'm just going to swatch the matte shadows are so pigmented and so buttery like it's insane how much pigment these palettes have look at that this one right here is like an iridescent purpley pink shadow and then the orange one here is so beautiful this is actually a matte shadow and as you guys can see they are pigmented so that's why i love 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 these palettes from hush the next one i want to share with you guys is the infernal palette this is obviously like my everyday kind of go-to palette it's very warm very neutral um i love it same the quality these are the shadows that are on my eyes today and as you guys can see they're really really pigmented i have the matte shadows right here on the on the crease area and then i have a shimmer shadow and i did not wet the shimmer shadow i just applied it with my finger and i feel like it gave me such good pigmentation um not even wet so these are really really good palettes if you don't have any palettes from the shop hush app or if you haven't tried any um bad habit has really really good ones so I'll leave the website down below in case you guys are interested in shopping. Next up, I want to share with you guys this foundation because I feel like it's going to be a while um, when I do another one of these videos. And I actually just tried this foundation today. It's what I'm wearing on my skin. I have a review already up on my channel. It is the CoverGirl True Blend Matte Foundation. This is a comfort matte foundation. Don't, don't think it's like super drying on the skin. It is such a beautiful 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 foundation it everything blended out really nicely i feel like it is such a comfortable breathing matte foundation and i absolutely love this foundation for so many reasons i just feel like it's such a good quality foundation the formula is spot on i feel like it fits any skin type whether you're normal dry oily combination i feel like it'll suit you if you're oily skin you just have to set it with a powder and if you're dry skin you're just going to love it like you're going to love it if you like that foundation that doesn't really give you a glow you know what i mean it's just a bomb foundation and i really wanted to mention it because like i said i'm not going to be making a favorites video in another couple months so uh yeah try this out let me know what you think of it it is such a bomb bomb and affordable foundation i feel like it beats a lot of higher end foundations but if you haven't watched my review and you want a full-on dedicated review to it i'll link it up here so you guys can check it out let me know what you think of it next up i want to talk about a powder that has completely controlled my oils if you're oily skin and you're looking for a really good affordable drugstore powder the cody uh air spun loose powder is by far a really good powder i haven't had like the chance to try this out and i 
I have tried it out for a good two, three months now, I want to say. I don't know if I mentioned this in my last favorites video. I believe I didn't. Um, I do have other powders that I try out too, like the RC Mineral Color Powder was one of my all-time favorite powders. Um, I have the Dermal Blend. I have other powders. This one is just not as drying as the Laura Mercier, so if you think that one is too drying for you, but you want something a little bit more heavy duty than the RC Mineral Color one, um, I feel like this one is perfect. It controls my oil all day. I carve out my cheeks with it, and as you can see, it gives me a really nice, you know, carve out. Um, I don't know, I really, really like this powder, and it's so affordable, like, you know, try it out, let me know what you think. I feel like everyone just talks about the Laura Mercier powder, or like, the Hourglass powder, or like, you know, like, higher-end powders when there's actual drugstore powders that are bombs. Next up, I want to talk about the Makeup Revolution London uh, Contour Sticks that they just came out. Well, no, this is actually a foundation stick that they recently launched. This is a new stick by the brand Makeup Revolution. I use the shade F12 and it's what's on my skin today. Um, as you guys can see, it's not too warm, not too cool. It's right in between. I like how much, you know, bronze it gives to my skin. This is what I use to contour with and I feel like it is such an amazing contour stick. It's so affordable, yet alone it is only $8.00. The foundation version of this stick is good for like an everyday kind of go-to. I do have a full-on dedicated review to it. If you haven't seen that, it's on my channel. I do set mine with a, a powder bronzer kind of thing, but it looks really, really nice. I feel like it just suits me perfectly. I love this stick. Try it out. Next up is the Shayla and ColourPop collaboration. I do have all three, but the one that I want to share with you guys that I just love is the shade quickie and it's her nude from the collection this is just a beautiful 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 cream liquid lipstick it's obviously not matte it's not going to last all day on your on your lips but you can definitely like retouch it it has just the perfect peach in there it has the perfect pink it is just a beautiful beautiful nude you guys can see it has the perfect peach and the perfect pink tones in there if you guys have been part of our t-squad family for a couple months now you guys know that i fell in love with the dollar AOA Studio Wonder Baked Highlighter in the shade Snap. If you have not tried a good bomb blinding highlighter, you guys are missing out. This is only a dollar. I did break mine. Like mine is completely broken in the pan, so I can't really like show you. But it is a really big pan size. And this is so blinding. I have several videos using this highlighter. Actually, the Hush Makeup Haul video, I am wearing this highlighter. And as you guys can see, it is so, so blinding. Like, I want to put some on just so you guys can see how beautiful it is. Look at that. Like, and I'm not even wetting the brush. That's the thing. Like, the brush isn't even wet. But it just gives you a glow, man. Like... It is so intense that it is crazy how intense like this beats all of my high-end highlighters that I ever own like this is by far a bomb ass highlighter like I did I barely touched my skin and on top of the one I'm already wearing it is it is a nice one but yet alone this is an amazing highlighter alone it is only a dollar it's in the shade snap pick it up you will not regret it you will thank me later I promise you Next up is a concealer. This is the Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer. So you guys know that the Kylie Cosmetics Concealer is by far my favorite concealer besides the Tarte Shape Tape because it's really hydrating and creamy. This is the concealer that I'm wearing on my skin today. I feel like I outgrew this concealer. I feel like I've grown into it. Um, it is just a really good affordable concealer. I wouldn't say I hate it completely. I wouldn't say I'm dying for it. You know what I mean? Like there's better concealers out there that I own already that I have tried. But it is a really good alternative concealer from the drugstore. And I wanted to share with you guys because I, I just have been using this non-stop. And I feel like it highlights my skin really nicely. I feel like it blends really nicely. You can't see any creasing. It doesn't last as long as some of my other concealers. That would be the only downfall. I'm still trying to make it work. I'm still trying to find ways to make it last longer. But it is a really, really good alternative, and I feel like I don't hate it to the point where I'm not going to recommend it. I feel like I like it to the point where I can actually feel good recommending it to you because I know that it's just going to work. You know what I mean? The longevity, not so good. The product itself for a couple hours, it's bomb.com. Try it out if you haven't tried it already. 
sides it's a concealer that a lot of people love so i feel like maybe it's not the best um long lasting on my skin but maybe it is a good concealer for other skin types so i really recommend that you try this out um maybe it's gonna work out for you it works out for me perfectly fine the only thing that I wish it would last a little bit longer on my skin. Next up, if you guys have not seen, these are the Physicians Formula Butter Highlighters. I was so excited when I found out they were coming out with this. So this is fairly new, you guys. I own the Butter Bronzer, and it's a really good buttery bronzer. This one is a highlighter that is really creamy and really buttery. You don't even need um, any kind of like Fix Plus or anything to wet your brush. It smells like... It smells like a tropical kind of vacation and it feels so soft on the skin this is the gold one this is the champagne one so as you guys can see it is really really pigmented and blinding I'm gonna put it right next to this one so this is the highlighter I wouldn't say it's as intense as my AOA wonder studio oh and something else I want to mention real quickly before I continue that I forgot to say is that this one is so blinding but it gives you that glow from within like you can't really tell that you're wearing highlight on the skin whereas this one I feel like it is more intense where you can tell that you're actually wearing highlight on your skin so this one will leave like a streak on me it's probably a little bit too dark for my skin tone so if you're a darker complexion this is gonna be spot on amazing on your skin like you're gonna look like a glowing goddess you know what i mean so try this out if you are darker than me because i feel like you'll really really like it i'm gonna try this out as an eyeshadow just because i'm so curious it is such a beautiful beautiful blinding color like a champagne kind of color but if i tilt my hand this way you can definitely see that there's a streak of line on there so if i apply on my face even if i blend it you can tell i'm wearing highlight which it's okay you know what i mean but i rather go with something that looks that it's coming from within you know what i mean like it, it's giving me that glow from within kind of thing you know i'm crazy you guys don't mind me the thing i want to mention you guys is the equate exfoliating cleansing wipes these are actually with cucumber aloe and green tea so what i love about these wipes you guys is that they have like a they have like beads in the wipe i don't know if let me see let me see if i pull one out if i'm able to show you guys what i mean because it's kind of hard to explain yeah i feel like you guys can't see right i hope you guys can see so this is what the wipe looks like as you guys can see it has like these kind of like dots it has like texture on the actual towelette that when you cleanse your skin with it, it it's exfoliating at the same time it's cleaning it's cleaning your skin if that makes sense but the texture in the towelette actually helps to deep clean your pores if you have really big pores like myself or your skin in general it just helps you cleanse your skin really really goodly after you have you know washed it off or whatever i like to go in with an exfoliating wipe just like this i do use this every single day because i use makeup every single day when i'm filming um like right now I'm filming, I'm wearing makeup. Obviously, I'm going to wash this off and I go to work with no makeup at all. And I feel like this one is really, really good to remove the Kylie Cosmetics lipsticks just because they're really, really drying and, you know, they like stick on your skin. So this is a really good wipe. All right, guys. So lastly, I want to share lipsticks from the Kylie Cosmetics. Um, the one that I'm wearing on my skin is called Autumn. And this is like a pink kind of shade. It's not too, too light, but it's not too, too dark as you guys can see. It is this one right here. There was a sale, uh, a Cinco de Mayo sale where it's like buy one, get one free or something. And that's what I went for. Like I was crazy about it. This one on the other hand is in the shade Bougie, which is like a red shade, but it has burgundy in there. Like it has a purple in there. It's this one right here. I love, 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 love that shade. It is so, so pretty. The only thing with this red shade is that you have to apply a single coat and you have to make sure that your lips are fully coated because if not, it looks patchy, it looks streaky. I will only recommend these lipsticks for like a couple hours because if you wear them throughout the whole day, yes, they're not going to budge, they're not going to move, but they're really drying on the skin. So if you're like in cold weather, like when I went to Universal Studios and I wore a bougie on my lips, it was so drying to the point where it crumbled completely on my skin and my lips were dry because it was already cold there. So that's the only thing. The formula is a lot like ColourPop. They're just very, very drying. 
um, but they're really good in the sense that they last a really long time. If you moisturize your lips really good underneath, I feel like you won't have a problem. Like if you wear lipstick or chapstick underneath, just like myself, I have to wear chapstick underneath and I have to go with one coat because, see, they, they are these are like transfer resistant they're not going to come off on your skin they're not going to budge they're not going to move but if you're in cold weather and your lips were already dry before you applied this they're going to look super crusty and super ugly so just keep that in mind so these are the two shades and then i also have the shade 20 i believe that's what it's called 20 i don't know where i have it but that's like one of my favorites you guys are probably going to see it in a video um somewhere i believe i have it in like my purse my purse is just in my car and jesus took it so i can't show it to you guys but 20 is also one of my favorites but really really good alternatives to the kylie cosmetics lipstick if you want a lipstick that's going to last a really long time on your lips um just like the kylie cosmetics one but you want the formula to be matte but you want that comfort matte where it's not going to dry your lips like this one the jeffree star cosmetics formula the velour liquid lipsticks are by far the best formula in the world ever they're just they're just a bomb.com formula i feel like he is so bougie and he likes just like high-end stuff where he's actually transforming his brand into something you know what i mean like i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you enjoy favorites video don't forget to give me a big thumbs up subscribe to our channel so you become part of our t-squad family it's free hello yes subscribe be part of the quad and with that being said guys i want to know what is one of your favorite products like let me know in the comment section down below what is one of your favorite makeup products face products uh non-beauty products i want to know what is something that you just can't live without beauty related food related uh, anything related like i want to know maybe i fall in love with it too you never know but let me know what is something that you cannot live without and with that being said guys i will catch you guys in my next video and uh, very soon bye guys and it's what it's what a, bleh.